Empty Bowls is a soup dinner that the art department puts on. I absolutely love Empty Bowls. This is our fourth event that we've put on and it seems to get a little bit bigger every year. I love that it's a way that my students can make art and they can impact the community with their art. I, I love the fact that we have students, that we have kids and community members that come to Empty Bowls and it doesn't matter whether they're four years old or 84 years old. They walk around the bowls and they look for the absolute perfect one that they want to take home with them and they will clutch it to their chest but they'll keep looking around because it may not be the best bowl and they have to get the absolute best bowl. And then sometimes they'll go eat and then they'll come back and look again just to make sure they've got the perfect bowl for them. It's really, really exciting to watch. So far we've made over $5,500. We still have money coming in, so we're hoping in the end we'll have almost 6000 We estimate that around 500 people showed up, bought tickets, had soup, um, and picked out a bowl. I think this year we doubled our attendance. So it's, it's crazy, it was absolutely awesome. We had lines across the cafeteria for almost the first hour of the event. Um, we're going to have to restructure how we organize everything next year uh, because we hope that attendance will grow even more next year. I think we had around a thousand bowls at the event. We had a few left over from last year, but we probably made around 750, 800 bowls this year. Well, it was wonderful. It was so much work and there were times when I just was about to pull my hair out trying to get everything done. Um, working with Miss Steele and Mr. Brown though really helped. We were a true team uh, and the kids, students were so wonderful. Um, but it was, it was great and after the event I just could not believe how wonderful it was. I think seeing not only the students participate in the classroom, seeing them come to the event and seeing their parents, but I think more than that, the community, people that came, people from all over the community came. There were businesses that came in and bought up 30 bowls because they're going to give them for gifts and there were Broken Air Neighbors people that work for them coming in and, and participating and purchasing and uh, just seeing how many people were there. It was crazy. I love watching the people at the event pick out their bowls and eat their soup and you could just feel the warm glow inside them knowing that that they are getting to help the community, but they're also having this event that's great fun too. The silent auction was a collection of bowls made by art teachers in the district, artists in the area, and some of our students, some of our advanced placement students. And this year the silent auction brought in almost $1,000. I absolutely love the fact that something my kids do in the classroom can have this much impact on families in Broken Arrow.